Hey, I'm Caleb with Main Switch Shop, and today we're going to make this paper towel holder that is also a box. It's got additional storage so you can put what you might use at a, at a dinner table in there. I used all oak on mine, so let's check it out. I've got some nice red oak here and I've set up a stop block on my miter saw so I can get some seven and a half inch pieces and I should only need two of those to make all four sides of the box because I'll rip these in half. Now I can cut those pieces in half. So I want to make my box connect using lap joints, which means I'm going to be cutting about here, which is about the thickness of another board, and it's going to be about halfway through. That'll give me more gluing surface, and it'll just look nice too. You can see I overshot it a little bit, but it's much better to have these a little too long than too short. Here you can really see how those lap joints are going to work, and I'll knock these flush on there. That won't be a problem at all. We got to glue a panel for the bottom and the top. For the bottom, I'm going to use this quarter inch oak, and for the top, I'm going to use some of the more of this half inch oak for the lid, and uh, it'll be pretty damn nice. So. Let's uh, do it. Gluing up the top panel. Bottom panel's already glued up. I'll let these dry. And I could work on other stuff in the meantime. Give you just a little safety pointer here. Whenever you're cutting a dowel on power tools, you've got to make sure that it's firm where it is. If it's not, this spinning blade could catch it and it could go spinning and you can lose control and before you know it your entire world has descended into the darkest depths of chaos and terror the, the likes of which are unprecedented you don't want that to happen just hold it firmly I've got my blade set about half the thickness of the wood it stops kinda just below this lip from the rabbit and I'm gonna start cutting grooves on all of these to fit the bottom in place. You could do this step on a router table. Me personally, I feel like it's much easier for me to fine tune the fit of the bottom if I do it on the table saw. I got my box lid cut to size and in order for it to fit I want it to drop in place and so with my router table in the exact setup it was to cut the half laps I'm gonna cut all four edges until the, what's left will drop into the box. Here's my progress so far on the box. I've got it all just kind of dry fit together. I've got this smaller oak dowel that you could use to break off the paper towels. Okay, I'm ready to glue up, dude. Now I'm attaching these things. I've already glued this one in place. And I think I may even use a, uh, a screw underneath this to just eliminate glue drying time. And I'll just run a screw through here so I don't have to worry about drying.
I'm gonna keep the fast food sauces in mind. I'm cheap. Hashtag Taco Bell. So there's the box complete. I also added rubber feet to the bottom just to give it some extra grip, especially since my lid was a little bit loose, but it works pretty good and you just catch the paper towel on that thing and it rips off pretty easily. I will be excited to see this in its final home on my dining room table when that project is complete. Anyways, if you enjoyed this project, give it a thumbs up, be sure and subscribe to Means Woodshop. I post new videos every Friday. I usually have follow-up videos every Wednesday. I didn't this Wednesday, but I'll try to get a follow-up for this. I think that's it. I'll see you next time.